President. Uh, on June 8th of this year, I sent a letter. Uh, I came to the floor, I should say, instead, to speak about my oversight activities with respect to the origins of the coronavirus. As part of that oversight, on March 8th and May 26th of this year, I wrote to the Department of Hum Health and Human Services about its oversight of grants set to Eco Health Alliances. The department sent millions of dollars to Eco Health. That group then subawarded hundreds of thousands of dollars of that taxpayer money to Wuhan Institute of Virology. Reports have indicated that $600,000 to $826,000 was sent to Wuhan Institute of Virology. So folks, what we have here is taxpayer money that was sent to the communist Chinese government. That's a pretty scary proposition. When we send taxpayers' money to the Chinese government, if there's no oversight done on that money, then we really don't have any idea how it's used. Just look at the news about China uh, kicking the uh, French at the Wuhan, out of the Wuhan laboratory. China can't be trusted, period. But I'm not sure bureaucrats share that same view. I'm talking about bureaucrats of our government. To illustrate, Dr. Anthony Fauci has said that Chinese scientists are trustworthy. That, quote, we really always trust the grantee to do what they say, end of quote. As a threshold matter, if a government worker doesn't show at least a little bit of skepticism about how a grant recipient is using the taxpayer's money, they aren't doing their job. That skepticism is healthy, and it's basic good government to question the recipient to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do with our money. Dr. Fauci has also stated that the National Institute of Health, quote, has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, end of quote. That's a pretty confident statement. When my colleague, Senator Paul, questioned Dr. Fauci on his position with respect to gain-of-function research, that same Dr. Fauci called my colleague a liar. Well, the way I see it, the only way that Dr. Fauci uh, and the government can be so confident that no gain of function research was done is if they performed the proper oversight of the money, the American taxpayers' money sent to China. In both my letters to the Department of Health and Human Services, I asked that very question so far the Department of Health and Human Services had failed to answer the question. On June the 10th of this year at the Senate Finance Committee hearing, I asked Secretary Becerra what, if any, oversight was done. He didn't give me an answer. I asked again in a follow-up question for the record. Still, no response even though all these people that come before our committee for nomination approval always say, we'll answer your letters, we'll answer the phone, we'll testify, but no answer to that question yet. The director of the National Institute of Health, Dr. Francis Collins, has also been silent on what, if any, oversight was done on the grants to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Dr. Fauci, has been silent on what, if any, oversight he did. This is a simple and very important question for the government to 
to answer. In other words, as you heard me say a few minutes ago, the public's business ought to be public. And without that sort of transparency, we don't have accountability. And we're entitled to have accountability on this kind of money. The more that they deny the United States Congress an answer, the more it looks like these bureaucrats don't give a lick about the American people, the people they work for, the people that pay their salary. Dr. Fauci is all over television and radio. You name it, he's on it. But apparently, he and his counterparts can't find enough time to answer this very simple question. Did you do any oversight of the taxpayers' money you sent to EcoHealth, money that you knew was going to the communist Chinese government? If so, please explain. If not, why not? This should not be a difficult question to answer. Either you did or you didn't. And either way, the American people deserve an explanation. And if they didn't do any re oversight, then how can they confidently say the money wasn't used for gain-of-function research or other bad conduct? We've lost over 600,000 Americans, and this body has spent trillions of dollars to support our economy and fight the virus. Congress and the American people have an absolute right to know that Dr. Fauci and Dr. Collins, what they did to oversee this money. Enough with the games. Just answer the question. I understand that the uh, Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General is doing an audit of what, if any, oversight was done. They're supposed to be taking a deep dive on the grants, the cooperative arrangements, and other relationships the government had with EcoHealth Alliance. The audit isn't just focused on what the National Institute of Health did or didn't do to monitor the grants. The scope also includes what EcoHealth did or didn't do to manage the funds in accordance with federal requirements. And the scope of that review, at least right now, is from 2014 to 2021. I expect the Inspector General to be aggressive and unrelenting, getting the records, the emails, and the memos. Run the transcribed interviews and questions, everyone up the leadership chain. Leave no stone unturned and make as much possible, as much as possible public. If punches are pulled, then this IG audit will be a waste of everybody's time and taxpayers' money. The Inspector General has a tremendous responsibility to get this job done right 